Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this tutorial, we are going to see, how to create, Game of Thrones style text animation in After Effects, so without any wait, let's see the preview. So let's start creating our Game of Thrones style text or title animation. Create a new composition. Let's name it as title animation. Make sure frame rate is set to 30 frames per second. Now set the time duration to 4 seconds. Now let's create a new solid. This will be our background. Now in effects and preset, search for fill. Add fill to solid background layer. Now let's change the color. Here you can set any color you want for your background. Perfect. Now let's add the text. Here I am using Optimus Princeps font family. You can download it from below link in the description. Now let's align the text to the center. Now select the pen tool, and draw mask for your text, as shown. Perfect. Now for mask 1, change mode to subtract. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid. Name it as shape. Now position the shape layer below the text layer. Now let's hide the shape layer. Make sure you have selected the shape layer. Now select the pen tool. Now draw mask as shown. Perfect. Now you need to match the mask with your text. Let's just adjust the mask. Perfect. Now let's make the shape layer visible. Perfect. Now let's draw shape for our letter O. Make sure you have selected the shape layer. Now draw mask as shown. Perfect. Here our text is ready. Now select the text layer and shape layer. Pre-compose them. Name it as text. Now for text composition. From layer style, select bevel and emboss. Now in blending option. Go to advanced blending. Now change fill opacity to 0%. 
Now in bevel and emboss. Change depth value to near about 500%. Now change size to 21. Now change angle to 0 degrees. Now change highlight opacity to 100%. Now change shadow opacity to 41%. Now let's create a duplicate of text composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create a duplicate. Now for above text composition. In layer style. Go to bevel and emboss. Now change depth value to 100%. Now change altitude to 0 degrees. Now change shadow opacity to 0%. Now for text composition. Go to layer styles. Now select satin. Now for satin. Change blend mode to normal. Change color to white. Change opacity to 100%. Now change angle to 45 degrees. Now let's change distance to 3. Now change size to 10. Now change invert to off. Perfect. Now again create duplicate of above text composition. Now for text composition. In layer style. Let's delete the satin effect. Now in bevel and emboss. Change depth to 150%. Let's change size to 6. Now let's change angle to 180 degrees. Now change altitude to 70 degrees. Now again create duplicate of above text composition. Now for text composition. In layer style. Go to bevel and emboss. Change depth to 100%. Now change angle to 90 degrees. Here our metallic text is ready. Now select all created text composition. Pre-compose them. Name it as title style. Now change title style composition to 3D. Now for title style composition. Press T to bring up the opacity. Now at 15 frames. Create a keyframe for opacity. Now come back to start of the timeline. Change opacity value to 0. Now go at 4 seconds and 15 frames. Create a keyframe for opacity. Now go at end of the timeline. Change opacity value to 0. Now let's create a new camera. Now let's create a null object. Now let's parent camera to null object. Now change null object to 3D. Now for null object, press P to bring up the position. Now at start of the timeline. Create a keyframe for position. Now change position for Z axis to near about minus 1000. Now go at end of the timeline. Change position value for Z axis to 0. 
Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now create a new adjustment layer. Now in effects and preset. Search for sharpen. Add it to adjustment layer. Change sharpen amount to 20. Now in effects and preset. Search for noise. Add it to adjustment layer. Now change noise amount to 5%. Now in effects and preset, search for optical compensation. Add it to adjustment layer. Now change field of view to 50. Now select reverse lens distortion. Now in effects and preset, search for photo filter. Add it to adjustment layer. Change filter to cooling filter 80. Now change density to 20%. Now let's create a new solid. Name it as frame. Now change color to black. Now draw mask for frame layer as shown. For mask 1, change mode to subtract. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Here our Game of Thrones style text animation tutorial is complete. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then make sure to like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.